Hello and welcome to Dry Canyon. Uh, this will be a game making sure that Ganelon is in fact Ganelon who used to dominate back in the day. This one he's facing Tag Rock, an extremely good player. So I see how well he does playing UEF. Taking on uh, Rock who's uh, playing Seraphim. Quite a few players uh, going to Seraphim. Rock no longer playing with Cybern. Going first air, probably first bomber. Which had to probably surprise Ganelon who's Unless he's been playing this whole time, um, who is probably not used to the more aggressive air that was uh, the change from 3599 to Forge Alliance Forever. And you can see here, first bomber for Rock coming out. So, you know, straight for Ganelon. Ganelon coming out with a couple engineers, also pretty aggressive mech marine. He's going to go down the side. Good luck, have fun. Second air from uh, Ganelon. And a lot of uh, old UEF players, classic as second air build, very strong. And the bomb drops on the ACU, there's already flak. Two flags already built, so Rock's gonna have to take care of this bomber. McMurray, meanwhile, making his way to the left side of Rock's base. Rock finishing up the fifth PJ, and also an engineer working on power just out of curiosity. Rock is now power stalling trying to force this uh, land factory out and also now mass stalling but now with enough power perhaps a reclaim on a rock will be perfect right now yes and the second bomber here is a bomber got one kill for rock but gets taken out here's the McMarine and an engineer for rock with six health left reclaims the McMarine great defense from rock and now the McMarine comes out the Ducey second area is complete now. Total of six pigeons, expanding engineers. So in terms of map control, maybe a slight advantage for Ganelon here after three minutes. Expanding engineers a little better, but there is uh, there are bombers coming out. You can see how the flak are positioned really wide. So this bomber will get shot at least a few times. Maybe a little bit of dodge in there. Excellent dodge there from Ganelon. Great stuff, and the interceptor cleans up. Great defense against Tech One bombers. And here on the other side, another flag with radar. And uh, the flag is taken up, but of course with second air, interceptors ready to go. Now bombers as well for Ganelon. Here's the second McMarine is going to face a tank, and it will be killed. Now multiple bombers for Ganelon coming out. We also see interceptors for Rock. Interceptors for Ganelon as well, great play. Bomber's going to see what they see. Look for engineers, there's Hydro here. This engineer would have been great to kill. Rock waiting with AC to build that Hydro. It will initiate it just in time. Rock should be able to complete it. No, no, it looks like the initiated Hydro was also destroyed. Great bomber from Ganelon. And now an air fight. That uh, is still very even. Both players very good with their bombers. And the ACU is kind of on opposite sides. Ganelon on the right is going to pick up some reclaims, some uh, mass spots. Selenes. Now oh, these, yeah, these are Selenes versus tanks. Great dodging once again from Ganelon. Ganelon is extremely quick. And a tank sneaking in for a rock. will cause all kinds of problems here in the back. And once again, it looks like too many bombers for a rock. Ganelon able to kill kill off the bombers, more bombers for Ganelon, so both players non-stop aggression yeah, some, uh, mere, uh, that was a raider taken out so a mere mortal like me right now would be absolutely devastated but they're both attacking each other and defending at the same time now we can see, looks like some numbers here for Rock a significant force here on the left side for Rock, you see Ganelon pushing a lot of forces to the side going with a total of five line factories and looks like one of the factories is going to be taken to tech two here minute seven on the other side uh, no problems whatsoever just the ACU standing Rock choosing not to feed it putting all the forces down the other side and a response here from Ganelon if a couple of these tanks can sneak through a lot of exposed mass extractors of course this tank three kills we can kill a couple more mass extractors for Rock but it is not getting the order Rock sends a one force down Another to the middle, a uh, radar is going to be taken out. 
Looks like a few more interceptors there just sitting there. And this Hydra could be taken out. So far, Rock doing a really good job. But that's because the Tech 2 was rushed, so there was not enough units for Ganelon to defend with. And Ganelon loses the Hydra also. Units in the back taking out mass extractors, but now with the Tech 2. With the Mongoose. And of course, uh, the classic set uh, UEF players from GPG Net are masters with the Mongoose. Hiding just like with Aurora's, but much quicker and longer range. Really, no problems there. Cleans up, cleans up the back with the strikers. And uh, one thing, to, one thing to note though, uh, Rock hasn't really been raiding that much since the beginning. Looks like the striker will be outgunned. And here we got the Tech Two versus Tech One. The Mongoose kiting and up on top in air battle. Over some flak, but numbers for Ganelon here coming up minute 10. Bombers coming in as well. So this is definitely a ZG for Ganelon, the player we remember from back in the day. Looks like a rock getting gun. Ganelon getting gun as well. So both ACs going for gun, but tech 2 for Ganelon. And he's sending this actually a whole bunch of stuff through the middle. And now a rock with a gun is left to be respected. We can see the interceptors for Ganelon providing uh, all kinds of recon all over the place. For Rock uh, attacking through three different positions, taking out the Hydro once again. Let's see if that affected Ganelon at all. He's going to have some power problems now. And uh, some sneaky tanks down the side. A nice tech on force. Be nice to bomb as well. So Ganelon now with the gun. Rock leading with the ACU. A good kiting from Ganelon not allowing his units to be shot. This will allow Rock to send some units through the side. Now he's going to pull him back now. And quite a few units now coming in with Ganelon. Ganelon, I remember many times uh, Ganelon with the gun and a whole bunch of units behind him. Moving in now some shields as well. And just running people over and now Rock in a bit of trouble. He does have the gun, but he is facing Tech 2. And now uh, we can see multiple forces. Rock sending everything to the ACU, which does allow the small Tech 1 force to take advantage on the right side. Meanwhile, Ganelon uh, pulling back to the shield. Has plenty of health. Just going to push with the ACU. More Mongoose, a big Mongoose spam. Oh, I wonder if that shows up on the on this mic. And yeah, this is great rating now from Ganelon, just avoiding this force. He's going to kill a lot of units. Ganelon, seven kills. Rock with nine. Kills among us. That was kind of lost. Uncharacteristic. Tech 1 force moving in, but it's going to move into a bunch of Tech 2. Also a Tech 2 point defense here at the back door from Ganelon. Coming up minute three. Ganelon will push again ahead with his ACU. Rock deciding to retreat and total devastation on the right side. So again, oh, this is nearly perfectly played. I don't know how you can play this any better. It's rolling around the outside and now Tech 2 for Rock. And while Rock was getting Tech 2, he really paid the price of losing quite a few units. And Rock halfway on his health, full health again. Of course, the Mongoose, some uh, mobile missile launchers here as well. Taking out the Hydra, some walls being put up by Rock. Ganelon splitting up his forces. It's going to be much more difficult to defend. Some Yoshua is uh, for uh, Rock. They might be enough. Who knows if they're enough to tip the balance. But we see the map control really shifting in Ganelon's favor. This is the brutal UEF right here. 10,000 health. And now he's going to lead with the ACU. Rock could be in trouble here. He's kind of exposed. He's pulling his units back to try to defend. And I think that may have been the final mistake of the game. The Mongoose are going to move in. Uh, no reinforcements. We'll make it in time. In a 15-minute game, Rock versus Ganelon, and Ganelon definitely back in a very good form. And uh, if he continues to play like this, he's going to be near the top. Probably already is. Hopefully people enjoy this.